Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at installing fonts inside Procreate on the iPad. Now since the April 2019 version of Procreate, you've been able to install and use fonts to create text effects. Now the installation that we're doing is going to be limited to Procreate only, although the fonts are installed, they're installed inside Procreate. So as usual, I'm going to be using some Design Cuts assets here. I'm using the Elderflower font, and I'm also going to use the Violetta font. We're going to install each of those in a different way, but just be assured that whichever method you use, they're both going to end up in exactly the same place and work exactly the same way. So I'm going to start here on my Design Cuts account. I'm going to scroll down to find the font that I want to install first, and that's Violetta. So I'll tap on View Files. And then I'll tap on download all files. Now when you do this, you're going to get a message at the bottom of the screen asking you what you want to do. And of course we want to download, so I'm going to tap download. As soon as the font pack is downloaded, you now get another question, and that is what do you want to open it in? Now fonts typically are delivered as zip files, and you can't get things out of there without an unzip application. I've already got one installed, I'll show that to you in just a minute. For now, I'm going to tap open in, and then I'll tap copy to unzip. Now that ensures that the Violetta font pack is now located in my files area, but it's in a special area that is controlled and managed by the unzip application. To unzip this file, all I do is just tap on it, and immediately it's unzipped into a folder. So inside this folder, as I navigate through, you'll find desktop fonts and web fonts and OTF and TTF files. Well, we're going for the OTFs. And here are all the Violetta fonts, the OTF files for these fonts that are delivered in that pack. Now, because it's already unzipped, we can just go ahead straight away and install the fonts. And the one I'm going to install today is this script font, so Violetta Script OTF. To do that, I'll tap on the I icon over on the far right of the screen. I'll tap Open In, and then I'll tap Open In Procreate. Now that opens Procreate up, and if I now go and create a brand new file, I'm just going to create a square document. I'll go to the Actions menu here with the gear icon. I'll tap Add, and then I'll tap Add Text. The sample text is already added, but I'm just going to type sample. I'll tap Edit Style. And down here at the very bottom, in alphabetical order, we're going to find the Violetta script font that I just installed. So that's one method of installing fonts inside Procreate. We're going to take a quick diversion right now to the App Store and have a look at the Unzip application. Inside the App Store is where you're going to locate and download an Unzip application. So I'm going to the Search option, and I'm going to search for Unzip. Over here on the left is the Unzip application that I'm using. It's free to download and use. But of course, you can use any Unzip application that you like, but you will need one to unzip the font files. I've already downloaded the other font that we're going to install, which is the Elderflower font. Let's just go across to the Unzip application. I'll navigate back out into the Files list, and here is the Elderflower zip file that I've already downloaded. So I'll tap on that because that just unzips everything. Now that it's unzipped, I know that I can install it into Procreate because it is unzipped. So let's head back to Procreate because the other way of installing fonts is to do it from actually inside Procreate. So the first thing I'm going to do is just delete this particular sample text. So let me just go and delete it. We're going back to the gear icon. We're going back to the Add Actions. We're going back to Add Text. And I'm going to call this sample again. That'll be my text that I'm going to use. So I'm going to tap on Edit Style. But instead of selecting a font, we don't actually have the Elderflower font installed yet. So what we're going to do is go over to the right here and tap on Import Font. And that takes us up to the Files application. So I'm going to tap here on my iPad. And then I'm going to the Unzip 
folder and that contains all my zipped and unzipped files. And here is the Elderflower script font logos. So I'm going to tap on it, that's the folder. And I'm going to navigate through the folder structure to find the fonts that I want to install. And here are the Elderflower fonts. So I'll tap on this one to install it. And then let's just swing back up to the font list here on the left and locate the Elderflower font that I just installed. So I'll tap on it and it's now used to format this text. So there are two ways to install fonts in Procreate. We've just looked at both. They're exactly the same in terms of the result. They're just different methods of achieving the same end. Now there is one other thing to consider and that is what if you don't want a font, if you've installed it and decide that you no longer want it. Well, you're going to your files application. Inside files, in the on my iPad area, you're going to find a folder of Procreate items. So you'll tap on the Procreate folder and then you'll see a fonts folder. So you'll tap on that. And here are all the fonts that you've installed into Procreate. These are not the fonts that are natively on the iPad. These are just fonts that only Procreate has access to because you've actually installed them in here. And so if you don't want one of these fonts, all you're going to do is just swipe over it to the left and then you'll see the delete option appear. And obviously you'll just delete that font. Now I want all my fonts, so I'm not going to do that, but that is how you would go ahead and delete fonts from Procreate if you no longer wanted them. I hope that you've enjoyed learning these Procreate techniques for installing and deleting fonts. Let us know what you think in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley for Design Cuts.